Hey, 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 scrappy people. Tracy Reed here today coming at you with a 12 by 12 layout using the Coco Daisy Cozy Season Collection. I have some tags left over from my last layout using this collection. So I thought I would use the same concept that I used in the last layout and I will link that in the description box. But uh, I thought I would use the same concept, the same sort of setup that I used in the last video for this video, but make it different. So I have these tags and then I have a bunch of five by three and a half photos for again like the last video and I want to set them up differently I don't want it to be the same composition I just wanted to kind of play with what can I do for these with these tags and this size photo in a different way so you can see I am using a navy cardstock to sort of play off of his jeans in the photo and then I'm taking these tags and I'm almost using them as extensions of the photos they have the same sort of shape um, so I'm spreading them out and um, going edge to edge horizontally with these tags and I think that that is a good start so I'm going to start taking some of this ephemera and these labels that I have cut off of one of the other 12 by 12 pieces of paper um, that I had left over from my last video I just kind of had a strip of that paper and the paper has a bunch of labels on it so I just cut the labels out and I'm going to use them as layering pieces for this page um, just creating clusters less about you know having places to journal and more a place or more about having a place to start um, the foundation of clusters you can see I also have these photo corners that are just snipped off from papers uh, I thought I would use them but I didn't end up using them so they're just gonna sit there for a minute while I layer these tags I'm using just the scrapbooking collection for this layout and the 12 by 12 paper add-on so I'm sort of limiting myself to what I can bring in on this page even though I have the creative collection or the creative kit as well which is super cute um, just for the challenge of it all I think <laughs> these photos were not taken in the fall and so that kind of limits what I can use slightly because this is obviously a fall based collection um, and these pictures were taken in January they're not about fall at all they were about I think I just did a photo shoot for I have two kids born in January so I did a photo shoot in Cade's Cove for their birthday <laughs> so that sort of limits you know the motifs that I can bring in as well so it's just kind of a challenge today so what I'd like to do when I'm creating compositions like this is to actually start from the top down and create clusters I guess floating in the air before I put them down on the photo or on the on the page um, so I kind of stick the photos together and the tags together and then I use them as one big piece to stick to the other photos and the other tags and I find that this makes it so that I can nest things together really easily before committing to putting them down on the page especially with this paper um, it's a little bit easy to um, tear so I didn't want to stick it down before I was ready but now I have the basis for the layout down so I can start building around that. I want the tags to sort of be evenly spaced, not evenly spaced, but go um, really close to the edge on both sides. So I have it about a quarter of an inch away from the edge. And I just want, like the, the background of these photos, while it is beautiful, um, is really repetitive with that mount, same mountain in the background. So I'm okay with covering some of it up and just letting these photos overlap and create a really fun staggered composition on this page. So you can see how well, <laughs> how well these photos are sticking to this paper, which is why I didn't want to stick it down on the paper quite yet, but then I got a little impatient and did it anyway. And one more tag. I'm actually gonna rearrange these tags. Well, not rearrange them, but I'm gonna switch out that leafy tag here in a few minutes which is going to be a pain in the booty um, but this is the start of it and I'm going to go ahead and start putting down the labels where I had them originally or at least close to where I had them originally making sure everything is straight and the same distance away from the edges Ugh. <laughs> 
Okay, there we go. Perfect. So let's speed up a little bit and start putting these labels down. Since we already placed them once, we know where they're going mostly. I think they get rearranged slightly because I never put anything back in the same place twice. <laughs> but I'm just going to stick them all here and then I'm going to use some of the chipboard pieces like this memories tag, enjoying mother nature, that label, and then I wanted to use all three of these arrows that were on the chipboard piece so they're all going to be pointing in towards the composition. Make sure you don't point them away from the composition because that doesn't make sense visually. But of course I struggled a little bit with where I wanted this, especially this bottom one to go didn't quite make sense in any direction just because it was kind of repetitive with the same arrow pointing in the same direction above it but I did it anyway. I'm going to use some orange twine from my stash to tie knots or bows in all of these tags or at least the ones that have the holes showing. I think adding a little bit of orange in here really helps. Well, what I was doing was bringing in the orange from that leafy tag, but I'm going to replace that leafy tag, but that's okay because I do end up adding more of that leafy paper on this page, and so it still brings in the orange. Okay, so I've got all the clusters started, and I'm kind of looking at this going, um, this is kind of boring. This is not really making me excited and happy to be scrapbooking. So <laughs> what can I do here? And I decided, okay, maybe I will add in some more patterned paper, but neither of these really worked for me. So I went back into my scraps from this collection and thought maybe I would do this chevron paper. So I'm just going to rip the corners off of the edge. I always do things backwards, I know ripping the paper after everything is down. I'm going to rip opposite corners just so I have that sort of, it still frames in that composition that is sort of moving diagonally across the page. And re, re, um, not re, but just sort of establishes that same guideline for your eyeballs. Could not get this to not curve at the bottom. I was having problems. See, <laughs> just keep ripping it. That'll make it better. Okay. So when I decided to put this paper down, I thought that this would work because um, I didn't have this paper on anything else on this page, but I just really, I thought it was such a bold line. It didn't really work well for me. So I thought maybe instead I would add the leaves, which I thought was perfect, really pretty for this page. But when I put it down in the bottom corner, then I had the two leafy patterns overlapping, which is why I changed the tag. So I'm just going to go ahead and straighten this out, make sure that we have a nice solid 12 by 12 edge here. Then I'm going to cut it off and actually flip it upside down so that the leaves show down here at the bottom. You can't really tell that it's upside down. You just see the leaves again, which worked out perfectly for me. But now I have those two leafy patterns on top of each other. So let's change out that tag with another scrap after we make sure it's all straight. Oh yeah, it wasn't straight because I accidentally curved the edge. So I had to pull it out a little bit farther and trim off the outside edge on both the top and the bottom. I also decided to go ahead and stable down this golden moments. It's kind of going to serve as my, well, it is going to serve as my title for this page. I'm not really going to add another title. This page is going to be more about sort of looking back at how many faces this child has. I actually scrapbooked a layout recently with my True North collection as well that talks about all the faces of Finn at a different age. So I guess I'm just on that kick. Okay, so now we need to find a replacement tag. We're gonna use this pink paper scrap. And I'm just gonna use the original tag to make a guideline for the next tag. And then I will put it back where the other one went. And that makes a better contrast against the leafy paper. At least I think so. <laughs> and now I can start bringing in the last of the embellishments that I'm gonna put on this page. Again, this is a fall themed collection. These are not fall themed pictures. So it kind of limits what I can use, but I did that to myself because <laughs> the colors just match so well with this page. I do have a few rub-ons on here that I can add that aren't going to be too fallish, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. 
in a couple of places. The good thing about the Coco Daisy rub-ons is they have white behind the printed color. So they're not really, they are, but they're not like super see-through. So I can put them on things that are not solid white and you'll still be able to see them. So this one's gonna go here. And then I'm gonna put one, uh, this little scene down here around the bottom corner of my other photo. Kind of almost is going to read like a watercolor splotch once I get it under here. And then I'm going to add the little blue and yellow leaf cluster to the tag above that right up here. There. So now I have some rub-ons and it's looking good. And we're getting close to done here. I do need to add something for journaling, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and take one of these tags from my stash. And I'm going to ink the edges with orange just to add a little bit of orange in. And then I'm going to add journaling. So that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. If you don't already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Tracy M. Reed. I'd love to see you over there as well. The cozy uh, season collection is already sold out. Um, Coco Daisy has been selling out, selling out a lot lately. So if you want to get on the list, there is an affiliate link in the description box below to do that. So you don't miss any of these gorgeous collections. All right. Thank you.